exactly the same methods that I use for DNA family secrets is now being used to solve forensic cold cases, particularly in the US and Canada. So probably the most famous one is the Golden State Killer case. So this is a series of rapes and murders and burglaries that are happening in the 1970s and the 1980s in California, and they suddenly stop in the middle of the 1980s. And what they did was they used, eventually, one of the rape kits to do exactly what we do on DNA Family Secrets, to get the DNA tested and upload it to databases. And what they found from the DNA matches was that there were a series of people who were related to him who all went back to a set of great, great, great grandparents. So you know the perpetrator now is descended from this couple. So you trace everybody down, you can start to eliminate people because they're you know, female or wrong place. They also used um, eye color and went through the driver's licenses and eventually they found him. This is Joseph D'Angelo, he's the Golden State Killer. What they did was they waited outside his house until he put the garbage out and there was a tissue in there and they got the DNA from that and they showed that he was the killer. And the really interesting thing is the reason why they think stuff stopped in 1980s was he was a cop. So he would have known that DNA fingerprinting had just been invented.